So if we take a look at gold right now, right? We made a triple, a triple top here, but now we're coming down to a level and making a triple bottom. To continue this short, right? So if I wanted to continue this short, I would have wanted a close below retest and continuation below. But the fact that we came back above this level and we've already respected it twice. So Gan just told us about a triple bottom. Would you ever classify this as a triple bottom if you didn't have the square of nine level? You would never see it. You would never count that as a triple bottom. But now the triple bottom is easy to spot because it's approaching a square of nine level. Place along here. And look at my stop. Okay, so let's calculate the next level. 1871. So I, I take the one in front is too large for gold. So I bring, I, I remove the one. So 871, there you go on the diagonal. That's the next level. Actually, here we moved 870. So that's going to come lower now. And because of my time zone, so I start trading in London. In London, a lot of the times between London and New York, the sun will change one degree, and that one degree is very crucial. All right, so, um, so 8, 1870, so 870. Let's look at the next one. Where are we going high this way? 888, lots of money. There's only two, two things um, that can happen to a candle when it approaches the level of the sun. So Gan says the market moves only two ways up or down. Price can go up or down. So two options when we come to a sun level are as follows. One option, price breaks through or price uh, breaks through and closes or price breaks through and closes above. If we were looking at that top, if price closed above, so what I would be doing is looking for price to actually event, uh, eventually open below, go back up, test, and then come back down. So you can see, uh, for example, that's what I did here with gold. So price broke below, but then it broke back into the level. So Euro New Zealand, I was looking over here. So I was looking for a double top, uh, sorry, a double bottom in order to go long. And you can see price broke through, closed below, closed back above, closed below, closed back above, went up, but it never balanced or came back and did this. That's, that means you can't long this yet. And you can see what happened. Came down to the next level. And now we're looking here. Oops. And so this becomes now our first bottom. Why is this our first bottom? Because this level hasn't been touched yet. Bottom on this 45 degree angle. And now we want it to go above. Okay, so that's valid for the first bottom. But in order to have a second bottom, it needs to balance. So they're closing below. Sorry, went up. Here we go. Please zoom in. We opened, we, um, opened above the sun level, closed above after the wick came down. That's a balance after. So that's the first bottom. That's the second bottom. That's your long. That's your stop. You see, how did I manage my trade? Because you could be like, wait, why didn't you close, right?
So price closed through here. Where there was never a, a second, you know, we came down, but it never created that top, that double top. You can see it happened the opposite side with this candle. It broke through. The first bar came, broke through, went back up, and then com completely rushed through that, that low. So basically, this happened flipped over here. This candle broke through. This candle broke through. The next one pushed right up. And Gan also says the fourth time at a level usually breaks through. Fourth time at the same level. Gan's telling us, Gan's telling us that the probability we actually go test this level, right, um, is, is very, very high. Now, what happens when we get here? Possible double top here. Yeah, just practice uh, back testing. If you have any uh, any setups that you have any questions, feel free to like uh, just take a screenshot um, and I'll and I'll definitely give you some help and some insight.